Information on any dental material, cleaning material, or office supply is provided on Material Safety Data Sheets, or MSDS Sheets. These are required by law to be sent along with any purchased material or product. This MSDS information is provided by the manufacturer and can be accessed by any employee if a problem or question about a material or product arises. There are many types of cements used in dentistry. Cements are used for the placement of crowns, fixed bridges, inlays, and onlays. The important thing to remember here is that there are temporary cements and permanent cements. Temporary cements are used to cement temporary restorations, like a temporary crown, while the lab is making the permanent crown. Temporary cements are usually strong enough to hold the temporary crown in place, but still allow you to remove the temporary crown easily without having to hurt the patient when you need to cement the permanent crown. Permanent cements are used to cement a final restoration, like a permanent crown in the mouth. It's very difficult to remove a crown once it has been cemented with permanent cement. Resin cements are very similar to composite resin restorative materials. Two pastes are dispensed and mixed together to form one of the strongest dental cements available today. A primer is used with resin cement to provide adhesion to the tooth. Just like alginate, dental stone has the following properties. Dental stone sets faster with warm water. It sets slower with cold water and a mask should be worn when measuring or mixing dental stone. Avoid breathing dental stone powder into your lungs. A model like this is useless, and now the patient must come back in for another impression. This will not make the patient nor the dentist happy. Dental stone is extremely hard if the proper water and powder mixture is used. Too much water will result in a weaker stone. Dental plaster comes in a powder also and looks just like dental stone. It's very important not to use dental plaster in place of dental stone because dental plaster is much softer. Dental plaster is used primarily to mount stone models on the dental articulator. Acrylic is a type of plastic widely used in dentistry. It's available in two forms, laboratory processed and quick cure. Laboratory processed acrylic is used for the fabrication of dentures, partial dentures, and orthodontic appliances. There are many products available to make temporary crowns. This product, called ProTemp, automatically mixes in the dispenser and minimizes waste from mixing too much. We'd like to take a moment to discuss the importance of conserving dental materials. Dental materials can be extremely expensive. Every dental assistant should make every effort to learn how much material is needed for the typical procedure in order to avoid wasting material which would cause unnecessary expense for the dental office. To illustrate just how expensive these materials can be, let's take a look at Cox Prime and Bond as an example. Prime and Bond is used as a bonding agent for composite restorations. At the time of this filming, a 4 milliliter bottle of Prime and Bond is selling for $60.50. 4 milliliters is less than 1 teaspoon. The normal amount used for a conservative restoration is one drop. We measured out a bottle and found 60 drops in a 4 milliliter bottle. So each drop is worth one dollar. It's clear that you don't want to waste this material. Learn the typical amount to dispense and if you're in doubt, ask the doctor rather than over dispensing and wasting material.